Do these jingles take you back to the ice cream truck coming around the corner? Now you can easily make your favourite childhood dessert with the Breville Smart Scoop. It's the first compressor ice cream maker with load sensing that lets you set and forget. This banana frozen yoghurt recipe is one of many sure crowd pleasing favourites that are included in the recipe section of the instruction booklet. Place the paddle securely into the 1.5 quart bowl. The outside needs to be completely dry or the water can turn to ice and cause it to get stuck. Pour the mixture into the ice cream bowl and place it into the smart scoop. Then choose from the 12 hardness settings. Turn the dial to the right for harder textured dessert like gelato or ice cream and dial to the left for softer sorbet and this frozen yogurt. If you want to tailor to your preferred consistency or for a pre-timed recipe, you can mix in manual mode. The optional pre-cool function can be used before both manual and automatic settings and only takes about 10 minutes to cool. That same button can activate the child lock by holding it down for two seconds. To make it faster, I'm definitely going to press pre-cool. Great for entertaining, the keep cool setting will keep the consistency of the dessert by chilling and churning for up to three hours. There's also an option to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. But to alert you to when your dessert's ready, the big decision remains to choose from the jingles, beeps or a mute option. But that doesn't really scream ice cream. Ice cream usually takes about 50 minutes to churn and chill. But if your recipe calls for chocolate chips, fresh fruit or flavourings, they'll be a ding at about three to five minutes just before your ice cream reaches its desired consistency. When it's done, remove blade will flash. Use the included spatula to remove the frozen dessert from the bowl into a freezer container. You can immediately serve or since it's all natural and free from stabilisers and preservatives, it will store for one week in the freezer. To prevent ice crystals from forming, put plastic film directly over the top before storing in the freezer. The bowl should be hand washed. Use the included bottle brush to clean inside of the scraper blade. The Smart Scoop, brought to you by the Food Thinkers of Breville. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. This is the Cuisinart Pure Indulgence Two Quart Frozen Yogurt and Ice Cream Maker. This product is a lot of fun to use. It's really easy to operate. First, you need to put your freezer bowl in the freezer. We recommend overnight at zero degrees. Um, and you put it right inside. You put your ingredients in here. You add your ice cream dasher. And this is what turns the ice cream as it freezes. You put your lid on, and you'll notice the lid has a little hole in it right here, where as your ice cream's almost finished, you can add in um, small pieces of fruit or chocolate chips or even a couple of small pieces of nuts. And after you get all your ingredients in, you just turn it on. It's beautifully designed. It has a stainless steel um, housing. And guess what? In 25 minutes, you're going to have fresh, flavorful ice cream or frozen yogurt right at home.
Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart one and a half quart compressor style ice cream and gelato maker. You can do both styles of desserts, and the reason is we have two different paddles. One is specifically designed for ice cream, and the other is specifically designed for gelato. And the reason is that gelato has a lot less air in it. It's much more dense than an ice cream. Ice cream is more aerated, and so we have designed two different paddles for you to use to get the perfect result for a great gelato or an ice cream. The other thing I want to show you is this is the one and a half quart removable container. Just put that right back in there. And we're going to put the paddle in. You can see how it goes in. And the next thing that you have here is your locking lid. You just line up the arrow with the locking unlock so signal and turn it towards the locking icon. Also here you have a little window where you can add your ingredients or any mix-ins when you're um, making your ice cream or gelato. Has a beautiful stainless steel finish and like I said it has a compressor and the benefit of that is that you can make ice cream or gelato at any time. You don't have to chill a container overnight in the freezer. And you can also make batch after batch of ice cream or gelato. It has um, a control panel here, which is black, and it's surrounded by a really nice um, accent of brushed stainless steel, as is the front. It has a power button, a 60-minute timer, and then also a start-stop button. It's beautifully designed, and it's also a lot of fun to make homemade ice cream or gelato. So we can get started with our ingredients. Today we're making um, a strawberry, fresh strawberry ice cream. And I'm just gonna take off the lid right now because it's just, I don't wanna splash. I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit. I prepared this in advance so that um, we'd have it all ready for um, making ice cream. And all you do, it's so simple and easy. You just pour the cooled ingredients right inside. Like that. I made a little bit of a splash, but that's okay. I can wipe it up really easy. All you do is put your lid back on, lock it into place, and we're gonna set the timer for 40 minutes. And we're gonna come back after 40 minutes, and it starts to turn. It's gonna start churning your ice cream. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you a beautiful strawberry ice cream that we made from scratch. So our 40 minutes is up, and one thing I wanted to mention to you is that when your ice cream is done um, mixing and cooling, you should um, take it out of the container inside and move it to a food storage container because it'll still be a little soft, and then put it in the freezer um, so it'll harden up a little bit. It's not gonna be absolutely hard when it is finished um, churning in the ice cream maker. So here we go. I just wanna show you how beautiful this came out. It's rich and flavorful and really, really pretty. And it couldn't get more tasty than making fresh homemade ice cream. And honestly, I do it with my nieces and nephews and they love it. Who wouldn't want a beautiful creamy ice cream or gelato right at home? Hi, I'm Teresa with Cuisinart, and this is Cuisinart's frozen yogurt, ice cream, and sorbet maker. 
This unit holds up to one and a half quarts of your favorite dessert. It comes with three basic parts. The first is the freezer bowl. This is a double insulated freezer bowl, um, which needs to be in the freezer for up to eight hours. Um, I'd prefer to keep it in the freezer overnight to make sure that it's uh, solid, solidly frozen. And it goes right here on the base. It requires no ice, so there's no, no mess, no fuss. This is our patent pending mi mixing paddle, which goes right here inside of the freezer bowl. Um, and it makes uh, ice cream or any frozen dessert in 20 minutes or less. And then here, is the cover, which has a large spout right here, which allows you to add any mix in towards the end of your, if you're making ice cream, you want to add ch chocolate chips. Um, it's wide enough um, for you to add that to your ice cream. And um, there you have it. That's our, our ice cream maker. And it makes, as I said, it makes a great uh, sherbet, uh, sorbet, ice cream. Please note it's frozen yogurt, ice cream, and sorbet maker. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. This is the Cuisinart Supreme Commercial Quality Ice Cream Maker. It uses a compressor, so you don't have to do any pre-preparation to make ice cream. Plus, you can make batch after batch. It's really simple to use. Like I said, it has a compressor inside, so if you come home and you fancy some fresh ice cream, you can make it immediately. It's really easy to use. This is the arm, this is the dasher, this is your lid. And this is your little um, one quart basket that you're going to make your ice cream in. You basically put this in here. You put your ingredients right in here. This is your dasher, which I mounted on here already, and the lid. You just put this in, put the arm on. You can use the 60 minute timer depending on what type of ice cream you're making. You can also make sorbet or frozen yogurt. You use the timer, you turn it on. And basically, it goes up to 60 minutes. It will turn off automatically when your ice cream is done. It's made of all stainless steel. It has some great handles on the side. And you can make fresh homemade ice cream anytime you want. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. This is the Cuisinart Pure Indulgence 2-Quart Frozen Yogurt and Ice Cream Maker. This product is a lot of fun to use. It's really easy to operate. First, you need to put your freezer bowl in the freezer. We recommend overnight at zero degrees. Um, and you put it right inside. You put your ingredients in here. You add your ice cream dasher. And this is what turns the ice cream as it freezes. You put your lid on. And you'll notice the lid has a little hole in it right here, where as your ice cream is almost finished, you can add in um, small pieces of fruit or chocolate chips or even a couple of small pieces of nuts. And after you get all your ingredients in, you just turn it on. It's beautifully designed. It has a stainless steel um, housing. And guess what? In 25 minutes, you're going to have fresh, flavorful ice cream or frozen yogurt right at home. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. This is the Cuisinart Soft Serve Ice Cream Maker. 
It's a lot of fun to use. It's great to do with your kids or with your nieces and nephews. It makes one and a half quarts of soft serve style ice cream and you can even use a yogurt recipe in this. It's a lot of fun. It's really easy to use. Let me just show you. You lift this up. This is where your dasher is and your auger which helps dispense your ice cream. This is your freezer bowl. This goes right in the freezer. We recommend that you put it in there overnight or at least for eight hours at zero degrees. You can mount this right back on, clicks right into place, and there's a, a port hole here so you can add your ingredients through here or um, put them in before you put the lid on. It's really simple to operate. There's a little dial on the side. You turn it on in about 20, 25 minutes, you'll have soft serve ice cream. It's really fun to use. You just pull down this handle like this and it'll dispense your ice cream. But the part that kids love the best are the mix it ins. There's three um, containers right here in which you can have your mix it ins. The thing to remember is we give you this little cone and if the item fits through this cone hole, then you can add, use it as a mix it in. That's very important. The way to, to activate it is pull out your little lever. You can choose one, two, or three mix it ins at one time and it'll be dispensed into your ice cream as you pull the handle down. This right here is where you can put your cones. You can either put um, flat cones like I used or you can use waffle cones. It has a really nice drip tray right here which will catch any spills or drips that you made. It's a lot of fun to use. It's a lot of fun for kids to do with you also. So enjoy homemade soft serve ice cream.